Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we crossed the border from Nicaragua, picked up our cousin Andre at the airport, and headed out to our first wild camping spot in Costa Rica. We enjoyed a quiet night of camping amongst the palm trees and a morning walk along the thin ribbon of sand separating the thick jungle from the Pacific Ocean. The natural beauty of this simple roadside campsite had us excited to see what else Costa Rica had in store for us as we packed up the truck and got ready for the day's adventure. But before we could leave, we had to do one more thing. The high tide line was littered with plastic and other flossum washed ashore by the sea, so we decided to do a little cleanup. It's not much but a small show of appreciation to our supporters and hosts along the way, but we figure it's better than nothing. Picking out trash can actually be a pretty fun activity on the beach because you get to like check out things like this and be like, what was that? Or you just find some interesting things. Now, with our efforts to save the world done for the day, we jumped in the truck and started burning dinosaurs in the direction of Montezuma. The town has been a well-known destination for tourists and expats for many years thanks to its natural beauty and easy accessibility through public transportation, including direct buses from the capital city, San Jose. As a result, the colorful town has developed more than some of its neighboring communities and offers many tourist attractions, including Wi-Fi, which is what brought us in today. With Andra's friends and family back home assured of her safety and well-being, we set out on one of Montezuma's most popular activities, a short, steep hike to the Montezuma Waterfall. You ready for go for a hike, Jiggies? Yeah? Yeah. Ow. 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 Montezuma Falls consist of three waterfalls, one on top of the other. We chose to stay at the bottom waterfall, which is the tallest at 80 feet and has the largest swimming pool at its base. Feeling tired and content after swimming in the river, we made the 20 minute hike back to the truck and set out across the Nicoya Peninsula in search of our next campsite. The dirt roads were corrugated and peppered with potholes, but easily traversed in two-wheel drive. The river crossings, however, did provide us with some pause. Unless we were lucky enough to see someone else cross, we had no way of knowing how deep the murky waters ran. So I'd kick off my shoes, hike up my shorts, and wade out to check the depths, as well as filling for any rocks, holes, or tree branches that may affect my approach. All while keeping an eye out for any ornery crocodiles, of course. Fortunately, none of the rivers proved impassable, and we eventually made it to Playa Pias. It's getting late in the day. It's time for a beer for the non-drivers. I'd say so. <laughs> Cheers! Alright, so we decided to settle for the evening at Camping Playa Pilas. Uh, we're just setting up Andres tent. And I think we're actually going to use the bug net tonight. We were attacked by bugs. It's definitely so humid, so it's just so much more rain. It's crazy that we're only a few miles from Nicaragua, yet it just, after the first day, it's just been dumping rain on us every single day. We just woke up from our first night at Camping Playa Pila and Jagger and I are walking down to the beach. Um, it's not very far of a walk, right there, but we're gonna go check the surf. We got a big breakfast this morning. We've got my version of huevos rancheros. This is just scrambled eggs 
with a can of Herdez salsa and a can of black beans. And then we'll throw in some pepper jack cheese. And we've got fried plantains, just uh, plantains fried in butter, but I overcooked them. And we got a little guacamole. It's gonna be yummy. I think the son of the owner he came over and brought us all these big, beautiful mangoes and then told us that he is willing to take us to a, I think it's gonna be a tide pool. It might involve some swimming. He can't hear, so he can't speak. So it's all sort of sign language, but we're like, okay, why not? Let's go check this out. We were making our way up the Pacific coast to the Nicoya Peninsula, stopping at beaches along the way looking for a good campsite and some fun surf. We bumped our way along the dirt road, winding through the hills past farmland surrounded by jungle, and continued to check the depth and contour of every river before crossing. It was slow going and rough on the truck, but eventually we found what we were looking for. We've been driving around all day today, checking out some different beaches and where we wanted to land today. We ended up here at Marbella, which means beautiful ocean. And it certainly is a beautiful ocean. It does look like there might be some chances for just some beach break surfing here. It's low tide at the moment. And it's getting kind of late. We are just gonna kind of scope out and see if we can't find a good spot to call home for a couple days. So excited. Next time on the Traveling Together Journal. We enjoy a few days of relaxation and some monkey business here at beautiful Marbella before Andres' time with us comes to an end and we have to say adios y hasta luego. Then it's back out to the beach to see more of what Nicoya has to offer. We find some more killer beach camping and commence relaxing, surfing, and horsing around on the Nicoya Peninsula. <laughs>